Hey everybody. So when I first started looking into getting my very first electric vehicle, the number one thing that I kept trying to think of is how am I gonna charge this thing at home, right? So I wanted to make sure that I was still able to get fast charging speeds, but I did not wanna to have to go through the process of hiring a contractor and then having to pay some large bill to have something installed into my garage. So I did some research and I actually came across the split volt splitter switch. And this has been the best solution so far. So let's get into it. Split Volt pretty much is a retrofit option that allows you to share your current dryer outlet with your electric vehicle at the same time, allowing you to kind of tap into level two charging at home. There are three different levels of charging. Level one charging uses just your standard 120 volt outlet that you have in your house which can get you anywhere from, I've seen three to five, three to seven miles of range per hour. Then you're bumped up to level two charging, which uses a standard 240 volt outlet, kind of like your dryer, and it can get you anywhere from 12 up to, I've seen 32, I've seen 50 miles of range per hour, just depends on where you're kind of getting your source from. Then you have your level three charging. So that'll allow you to get anywhere from 100 to 200 miles of range from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So it's super fast, right? And the split volt, of course, allows you to tap into that level two charging stage. When it comes to actually unboxing the split volt, there actually wasn't too much in the box. They give you a few screws if you decide to actually mount your split volt onto the wall. And then of course you have the split volt itself. Setting up the split volt it was super duper easy. All I had to do was go to my circuit breaker and turn off the circuit for my dryer, which it is a 30 amp circuit. And then I unplugged my dryer, plugged the split volt into the outlet that my dryer was plugged into, and then plugged my dryer into the dryer outlet on the split volt, which is on the left side. I've never been able to get any of my cars to fit into my garage because my garage is too narrow and I'm paranoid that I'm gonna hit one of my side mirrors. So I did decide to purchase an extension cord through Split Volt's website. And I plugged that extension cord into the right terminal that's meant for electric vehicles. At the end of the extension cord is where I plugged up the cord that is used to charge my Ooh, vehicle. Hard. The only thing that was left to do was to go back to my circuit breaker, turn on the circuit that I just turned off, and then go to the split bolt and then turn the circuit breaker switch that's on the split bolt on. Now, before you actually plug in your electric vehicle, they say it on the box, there is actually a sticker that's on the actual EV charger port itself on the right side. You need to limit the amount of amps that your car is pulling down to 24 amps. So. With my vehicle, when I go to the charging setting, standard, it's set at 48 amps. So pretty much it's going to try to pull 48 amps of power. There's an 80% rule. I'm gonna get this wrong, but basically however, you've got this, however much power your outlet can supply, you need to make sure that you're pulling only 80% of that power. That made sense. Okay, we'll go with that, pretty much. So, like I said, the outlet that I have for my dryer, it is a 30 amp outlet. So, 80% of 30 is 24. That way you're not putting too much strain or stress on that outlet. We don't want house fires. We don't want any of that. When I get in my car, I do turn my amps down to 24, and then I plug in my vehicle. I think I've had this for now, three weeks, and my car charged perfectly every single time. I've gone to a supercharger a couple times now um, just to try it out. And if I had to drive to a supercharger every time and then wait at a location to charge my battery just to get somewhere, I probably wouldn't like the experience. Home charging is definitely the way to go. There are three main reasons why I did want to give Split Bolt a try. And the very first one is I like the fact that it prioritizes the dryer over the electric vehicle and kind of swaps between the two without me having to do anything. If my dryer is on, it's not going to supply any power to the electric vehicle until the dryer has actually stopped. Once the dryer has actually stopped or has been turned off, I can hear a delay. You'll hear it click and then it'll start supplying power to your electric vehicle. 
which means I don't have to physically go in and swap any type of switches or anything like that. It's already built into the machine, which is amazing. The number two thing that I did like about this specifically are some of the safety features. So like I said, you do have to limit everything to 24 amps. If you say if you've forgotten to actually lower down your amps to 24 in your vehicle, if you go to plug in your car and the split bolt notices that something is trying to pull more than 24 amps, it is going to trip the circuit breaker that's built into the split bolt before it even trips the circuit in your circuit breaker. So you don't have to worry about accidentally drawing too much power and then something happening and getting too hot or anything like that. It already has safety features built into it. The third thing that I really liked about it is I want to do this little thing where I'm trying to calculate, you know, how much money I'm either saving or losing by charging at home. And I didn't know how to go about actually calculating how many kilowatts are going towards my car versus the kilowatts that are just used in my home for like my lights and all the different things that I have in here, right? There is a digital readout in the top left corner and whenever your car is being charged or actually pulling energy, there is a little number that will slowly start to tick up and it is pretty much telling you how many kilowatts your device has used over time, which is gonna make it so much easier to calculate how much money I'm actually using to charge this vehicle. All in all, I am very pleased with this device. It absolutely meets everything that I needed. Um, and it's a perfect option for someone who is wanting to get an electrical vehicle, but isn't wanting to, again, have that contractor come in and give you a thousand dollar bill to actually have something input into your actual home. It's even a good option for someone who might be a renter. That's it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If it was informative, please let me know. Check out Split Bolt. I've got some of the links down below if you're interested in something like this. And yeah, just let me know if you have any questions and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And other than that, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.